In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use SendGrid for configuring BuddyBoss reply by email. The advantage of SendGrid is that it's pretty cheap at high scale. You can see you can get 40,000 emails for only $10 a month. Um, the downside is that it's a little bit difficult to configure. However, it's not that hard. If, if you're comfortable doing some technical stuff, you should be able to get the whole thing configured in about a half hour. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the free plan, which is what I recommend you guys doing. Okay, so I've just activated my new account and here's my dashboard it logs you into. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is going to settings, white labels, domains. And then we're gonna click add white label. And from here, first thing we do is use a new domain and let's pretend your website that you're setting up reply by email on is called website.com. So you would enter website.com. And for the subdomain, we're going to use reply. Seems to make sense. Reply.website.com. And we're going to go ahead and click save. Now it tells us DNS record must be validated before white label setup is complete. And that's going to be the next step. So here we are, we have reply.website.com. And the next thing we're gonna to have to do is copy all three of these CNAME records into our web host. So if you don't know how to do that, I mean, you can do this in uh, web host manager cPanel. If you don't know what to do, you should go ahead and contact your web host and have them add these CNAME records for you. They should be able to do it in just a few minutes. And once you're certain that the CNAME records have been entered correctly and it's working, then you're going to go into the reply by email settings uh, at the plugin. So here we are in the plugin. We're at Buddy Boss reply by email and we're in the email setup tab. So we're going to go ahead and select SendGrid. And now the first thing it's going to ask us is for the domain we added at SendGrid for the white label. So let's go back to SendGrid. You'll recall reply.website.com is the domain we had added and we'll click Save Changes. And then it's going to suggest an email for us to use as our email reply. So you can make it reply at or notifications at, whatever you want. The idea is when one of your users receives an email notification from BuddyPress, it's going to autofill this email as the reply. So when they click to reply, it's gonna get sent to this and through SendGrid, this is going to map it back to your, your BuddyPress site. So you will need to put in, it could be reply at or bob at, whatever you want to use here. So the next step is to take this information and paste it back into SendGrid in the inbound parse section. You can click this link, which will take you there if you're logged into SendGrid. Or you can go back to SendGrid and click on inbound parse under settings. And from here, you're going to click add host and URL and so it's going to ask for a host name and the URL, and we can come back here and copy our host name and copy our URL. And these we're going to leave unchecked and click Save. And that's it. We're done. Um, now you should be able to test it and see if it's working. So. The way to test it is to click on the send test button. And then on the send test page, you can enter your own personal email address here, click send test, and it will send a test email to your actual email address. And then you can log into your email and reply to that email. And if it works, your reply will show up in here. You can click logs and see a history of all the tests. And that way you can confirm if the service is working for you.